Okay, so I'm going to now um, show you how in a star search uh, the algorithm works on a particular graph. So we are looking at this particular graph here, um, and um, so A, B, C, and G, and the these are the the edge cars, and then these uh, in squares are the heuristics, and um, you notice that uh, uh, the first question is is the heuristic admissible um, the you know is it admissible okay and um, the answer is yes because you know you need to check for every goal to actually check if the heuristic is admissible you need to check at each node if it is admissible in this kind of extensional graphs if it is something like straight line distance uh, in plane then you need to have a you know, theorem saying from any point to any other point the true distance cannot be lower than the straight line distance anyway in, in this case actually to check that the heuristic is admissible you have to go to each node and see if in fact the uh, the shortest path from that node is still higher than the heuristic estimate so from a the shortest path to goal is 12 units clearly this way and then you're up, you know estimating it as eight so you're being optimistic you're fine from b interestingly the shortest path is b a g so that is 12 plus 2 14 and you're still being optimistic by estimating it as 9 uh, from c the shortest path is uh, 3 plus 2 5 plus 12 17 um, so since you're saying 8 you're still actually uh, being optimistic notice by the way that in this kind of an example where it is uh, undirected graph um, had I asked you what is the highest value C's heuristic can take before it becomes inadmissible, most of you are likely to think that it will be 20 because C to G is 20, but really the shortest path from C to G is going back and coming this way, you know, 3 plus 2 plus 12, uh, which is uh, 17. And so the highest value C can have for its heuristic is 17. Okay. Anyway, so and then finally for G, we did realize that uh, the the heuristic uh, for G has to be zero because you're at the goal already. So and we did you know, catch that. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to do actually the search um, starting from A, and we are trying to find the shortest path to G. So when you start from A, um, its G value is zero because you travel zero units, and then its H value is eight. So this is G, this is H, and so the F value is a total of eight. Um, this is the first node on the Q. So you just pick it up and you expand it. When you expand it, you get B and you get G. And on B, you know, you, you are at uh, A and you got to B um, by a two edge. So the G will be zero plus two, so two plus H for b is 9 so 9 equal to 11 okay and then similarly for g you friend from 0 plus 12 12 units travel and you at g you don't have any more to travel so 0 units uh, for h value so f value is 12 so on your uh, open list now you have this which is 11 units f value and this one has 12 units f value so you clearly are going to pick this to expand and when you pick this to expand you can go from b back to a or b to c when you go from b back to a you would have paid you already paid two units to come to b and another two units to go back to a so four plus at um, at the at a you would have to uh, basically add the heuristic eight so the the a values a heuristic now is 12 notice that a originally had an f value 8 and when you came back to a its f value has become 12 that's essentially how you make sure that cycles will never be present in the optimal path okay and for c on the other hand you have two units to go to b plus three more units to go to c so five units to go to c plus from c you believe that you have to travel eight more units so you have 13 units for f so you have a 12 a 13 and a 12 now if you're lucky at this point you may just have you know in the tie breaking you may have just picked g and you have looked to see if it's a goal and you would see that it's goal and you would stop 
right and you're guaranteed that this will indeed be the shortest path why because this path and this path are still partial and they're already as costly as this path which is a goal path and so they cannot become any better okay um, but suppose you are unlucky and you pick this you know instead of this 12 then what would have happened well you would have expanded a and you would have got a b and a g again now when you went to b back then you have already four units going from a to b back to a and one more two units to get to b so six units to get to b plus nine units from b to the goal are 15 units and if you go to g this way then four units to go to a and plus uh, uh, 12 more units to go to g 4 plus 12 16 plus now when you are at g you will be 0 so this will be 16 so you have a 16 here a 15 here a 13 here and a 12 here so even if you were unlucky and expanded this at this point you would have certainly picked this and you would have tried to expand it just before expanding you would check is it a goal node you will see yes it's a goal node and you stop okay so that is basically the point of um, a star search okay um now uh, let me see uh, what would happen if you have um, ida star so i will actually just use a different color um, for uh, ida star okay so i the same graph but i want to do ida star okay so now when you do ida star the interesting thing is up front the graph you have is just a and um, and it has an f value of 8 plus 0 and uh, when you're trying you know you're just you know basically expanding this tree then you using depth for search when you expand this you get a 8 plus 0 and you know so a could generate a b which would be 2 plus 9 f value and it can also generate a g which is obviously 12 plus 0 f value okay so and you the next f cutoff the first f cutoff is a f cutoff is a 8 the next f cutoff is going to be whatever is the next highest so b so that is you know 11 so you now are going to consider f cutoff to be 11 and if you are doing f cutoff to be 11 the the tree you are in a sense going to look at is you essentially you regenerate tree and only consider the nodes that whose f values are below 11 okay and so then you again expand a you get a plus 0 then basically you have in, in effect you are searching this tree a b and this is 2 plus 9 okay and if you you know if you search this tree in the depth first version you do a first and then b and you are not finding a goal so you need to expand the f cutoff now the interesting thing is uh, when you are in a you would have uh, a g which you could have reached which is 12 plus 0 so there is a 12 cutoff this side and if you are at b you would have gotten either back to a are gotten back to C and A, a you would have reached it um, with uh, A you would have reached with a F cut of F value 12 and C you would have reached with F value 13 and so obviously the next F value F cut off would be 12 because these two are the next highest okay notice that I'm putting these in um, dotted lines because those goals those nodes actually are not yet present in the tree currently okay so now now the f cutoff is going to be 12 when you have f cutoff 12 in essence you search this particular tree this particular tree using depth first search okay and when you search this in the depth first search you go a b a go back and g and you would stop here okay and remember that's depth first search okay so in fact the if i were to write the expansions here i expanded a here i expanded a and b here um i expanded a b a and g 
okay and I stopped. So that is basically your uh, IDA star search. Notice that in this particular case in fact IDA star search got done you know in some sense faster okay. But again that is the point you know notice that in this particular in this particular iteration the way you would do the actual search is once you have identified the tree you are only essentially doing depth first search A and then B and G will go on to the uh, queue you pick B expand it you get A you that goes onto the queue you expand A obviously when you expand A what happens is you will get from here you can see that you will get a B back but its F value will be 15 greater than 12 so that will not be part of the tree okay. So then you go back to G and this side and that you are about to expand you ask are you done are you done so you declare uh, uh, success and get done okay. So that is basically our example for both uh, A star search and IDA star search okay. I am going to uh, post this for you guys.